Hello everyone. This is Ms. Geeta Priya from R&D Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be seeing about what is normalization, what is 1NF, 2NF and 3NF. Normalization is a process of organizing the data in the database. If you consider a database, you will be having a lot of data which will not be organized in a proper manner or the relevant data may be present together. The relevant data may not be together also. So, uh, the way of organizing the data so that it will be easy for you to access the data when you require. So, normalization also minimizes the redundancy between the relationship. And also to avoid the anomalies like insertion, deletion and update, you will be normalizing the table you are given with. How normalization is done now? Uh, the larger table will be divided into smaller ones and the smaller tables or the multiple tables will be joined or linked together with the relationship by using a foreign key. So there are various types of normal form 1NF, 2NF, 3NF. After 3NF we will be seeing a BCNF which is boycott normal form and 4NF and 5NF. So in this lecture we will be covering the 1NF, 2NF and 3NF. So to say your table is in first normal form, you will be considering three rules. The first one is your table should not have multiple value. The other one, all the columns should be of same data type. And third one, all the columns should have a unique name. So we'll see with an example. So in the first table, you can see that yeah, one particular cell is having multiple values. So, multiple values should not be present in a single cell. So, if it is like this, it means that your table is violating the first normal form. And the next one, so in this example, you can see that each cell is having only one data. So, this is how your first normal form table should look like. The second rule is the multiple, the, all the columns, you can say in this table, four columns are there. So, four columns should have a unique name. The third one, if, uh, if you are taking one particular column, all the data in one particular column should have a same data type. So, for example, the roll number data type should be int. So, if your one cell is an int or one power row is an int, all the data should also be in the int data type. So, these are the three rules to be considered. If the table should be in normal form, if three rules are satisfied, then you can say that the given table is in first normal form. Then the second normal form, the conditions of uh, second normal form is your table should be in second normal form, then it should satisfy the rules of first normal form. So if it is in your first normal form, you can, the next step is, should verify whether it is having partial dependencies or not. If your table is having partial dependency, then that table is not in 2NF. You should normalize into 2NF so that you are going to uh, eliminate the partial dependency there. So what is partial dependency? Partial dependency is nothing but, uh, we'll uh, see with an example. Here, with a given table, three columns are there, candidate ID, subject number and subject fee. Here you can see that subject fee will be depend on the upon subject number. But when you are going with the primary key, you cannot take the candidate ID alone as a primary key because if I want to retrieve the fees of candidate triple one, I don't know whether the fees of triple one subject one or triple one subject four. So we will be going with a composite key. Composite key is nothing but when you are taking two column as a primary key, so when both are combined together, they give a unique data. If they are separated, no unique data will be present. So this form of uh, key will be called as composite key. So 2NF will be happening with the table having the composite key. So with a given example, candidate ID and subject number put together form a composite key. And subject fees will be purely depending upon the subject number. No way subject fee is going to depend upon the candidate ID. So when a non-prime attribute, non-prime attribute in sense that cannot be a unique value, unique column from a table. So if a column is not a candidate key, 
then that will be called as a non prime attribute if a column or the thing which is comes under candidate key they will be called as a prime attribute so here candidate id and subject number are uh, prime attribute and subject fee is a non prime attribute so here partial dependency means when a non prime attribute that is your subject fee is going to depend upon the prime attribute but partially so here candidate id subject number put together form a composite key so put together form a prime attribute but subject fee is partially depending upon subject number and it is depend not dependent on candidate id so when a non prime attribute depends partially on a prime attribute so that case will be called as partial dependency if your table is having partial dependency then it has to be normalized so that it will be comes under the second normal form so how to eliminate uh, how to get rid of partial dependency so the given table the given larger table can be divided into two tables so here table 1 have the candidate number and the subject number so here in the table 1 candidate number is a primary key so this non prime will be directly depending upon the prime here the table 2 subject number and subject fee so subject number is a primary key which is uh, then subject fee is non prime so this non prime is going to directly depend upon the prime attribute so in both the table no composite attributes and also no partial dependencies are there so how you will be joining this two, two tables now you will be having a foreign key the condition of foreign key is if you are taking a foreign key in the other table in the table one it should be a in any one table it should be in a primary key so here in table one candidate number is a primary key and subject number is a foreign key so this foreign key will act as a primary key in the other table so this is how both the tables will be connected together to bring up a relationship so this is your 2nf and how to normalize the 2nf the next one third normal form the two rules of third normal form the first rule is if you uh, if a table is satisfied with the 2nf then it is partially okay with the 3nf the next one condition you have to check is check whether it is having transitive dependency if your table is having transitive dependency then that will not come under 3nf you have to eliminate the transitive dependency and that is you have to normalize to avoid the transitive dependency and you want to make it as a third normal form so what is transitive dependency simply to say when a non prime attribute dependent on another non prime attribute in previous one partial dependency and non prime partially depending upon the prime so that is your partial dependency coming to transitive dependency when a non prime attribute depending upon another non prime attribute so if this type of case happens then that is called as a transitive dependency so with an example we will see what is transitive dependency so here roll number game fee structure three columns are there so roll number is a primary key here game is a non prime fee structure is non prime but when dependency comes fee will be purely depending upon what is the game he is going to play so fee structure is going to depend upon game here both fee structure and game are non prime attribute so a non prime attribute which is fee structure is going to depend upon another non prime attribute game so this type of dependency is called as transitive dependency so if this is in transitive dependency you have to normalize the table to bring it to third normal form so how you will be bringing or how you will be normalizing means you will be again dividing the table into two so here three columns are there you are going to divide it into two tables so table one will be having roll number game table two will be having game and fee structure in table one roll number is a primary key in table two game is a primary key so how this both are connected now by means of the column game so in table one game play as a foreign key so this foreign key should act as a primary key in the next table so in r2 it is a 
table 2 it is a primary key so by using game both the tables are connected with each other so here now the both the tables are in third normal form thank you so the next for bcnf and 4nf will be discussed in the next video thank you